the torque plate police are after me and I figure we're just gonna have to make a video about it. So stay tuned. So for the last, I don't know, ever how long I've been posting videos, when, <clears throat> when, you know, just certain people, like, I, I don't know who these folks are, because no, no real machinist is making these comments. It's, it's just, you know, Joe Public that's been reading stuff on the internet. You know, they'll make comments like, no torque plate, question mark, question mark, you know, or uh, why are you not using a torque plate? Or where's the torque plate at? One guy last week, he's like, where's the torque plate? I'm like, it's, it's over here in the stack with all the rest of the torque plates. Well, why is it not on the motor? Well, because the customer didn't pay for a torque plate. So, you know, like, I don't know what these people do for a living, but here you have to pay for the service you get. So we don't give away free services. I mean, you know, the motor needed boring and the customer didn't want to bore it. Well, I'm not going to bore it for free. You know, I'm going to hand it back to him and say, you know, there it is. I mean, I can't, I can't work for free. So that's the first aspect of when to use a torque plate and when not to use a torque plate. The second aspect is every job is not a $6,000 aftermarket block with, you know, a, a, a turbo this big that's going to make 3,500 horsepower. That's, that's not every job, right? So we've demonstrated it multiple times and the, the, the torque plate, you know, I mean, I, I think everybody knows this this in this business, right? Because you just put the plate on, you torque, you torque everything up, you, you hone the block, you take the plate off, and then measure it, right? We can see what it's doing. We don't have to guess. You know, there's no uh, magic fairy dust that the torque plate does to the block. It's, it's just inducing the stress through the head bolt and the fire ring on the head gasket that the cylinder head would do, right? Some blocks move around more than other blocks. Some blocks just almost don't move at all. I mean, or, or so little it, it doesn't amount to anything. So, so what prompted this is a guy the other day, I'm not going to call his name, but he, he started in on the whole torque plate thing, right? And I mean, I, I probably shouldn't respond that's that's the first problem is is i responded and i shouldn't have responded but i feel like that i you know i i i, I would hope that we could have a, a, an intelligent conversation about the, the, why why did i not use a torque plate or why did i use a torque plate on and on and on so the guy's like you know um why are you not using a torque plate i'm like because the customer didn't pay for it so he goes on to say, uh, and, I, and I think, and he deleted all the comments, right? He deleted his comments. Um, I, maybe I tripped him up. Maybe he tripped himself up. I don't know. Maybe he decided that it was just he should have kept his mouth shut. I, I don't know, but he deleted all his comments, and it's irrelevant. But I think that I see so many of these comments, I think it, it merits a, a five-minute video or 10 minutes, whatever it's going to be. So... You know, he's like, um, where's the torque plate? And I'm like, the customer did not pay for a torque plate. It's a bone stock build. Matter of fact, it was the, the Ray Charles 5.3. I mean, it was a herd of junk anyway. I mean, used up pistons, all rusty rods and crap. So, you know, it was just a bailout deal. I was just trying to help somebody out. And, and so he's harping about the torque plate, you know. And I'm like, you know, in, in my mind, I'm like, this, this engine has got problems this much higher than the, tor the torque plate problem is way down here. You know, this thing's got problems up here. So worrying about a torque plate ain't even on the radar, right? It ain't, we ain't even in that zip code. Furthermore, <clears throat> I, so I sent him the link 
to a video we did early on uh, and it was studs and all, and this motor was getting bolts. I mean, just old factory bolts. And, and but we did a test. We uh, studded a block, torque plate, honed it. We picked one cylinder that was freaking dead nut zero, and we let the block cool off. We the plate on it. We let it rest for hours. We pulled the plate off. We checked it on camera. The very very top of the cylinder moved four tenths of a thousandth out of round. That's four decimal places. Zero, 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 four. So like grasp the, what I'm saying. It don't matter. It just, that is doing the zero to anything. Absolutely nothing. It's doing nothing. If, if you think that four tenths matters at the top half inch of your cylinder, you just, you got bigger things to worry about. And in a minute, I'm going to illustrate why that all of that is absolute unicorn farts and fairy dust. So, you know, the, the, and again, the whole crowd that's harping on torque plates I guarantee you not one of them has ever honed a cylinder in their life. They probably have never even held a torque plate in their hand in their whole life. So I don't understand why they think that they are qualified to tell anybody anything. That's, that's the part that makes me scratch my head. And so that guy goes on to say, you know, he learns from, and he names a bunch of big name people and, and I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. But that doesn't change the, 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 the geometry and data. It just, it doesn't change it, right? Your Tahoe that your wife's driving up and down the highway, uh, four tenths at the top of the cylinder. I mean, it's just, it, it, it's, it just doesn't matter. You'll never know. It's not going to, Ring seal's not going to be affected. Blow by's not going to be effect affected. Oil consumption is not going to be affected. Zero is going to be affected for the next 300,000 miles of that engine's life, period. Anybody tells you any different, then, you know, I, I'm welcome for them to show me the, the, the data that, that, that refutes what I'm telling you. So my question is, so let me, let me finish with this guy. So he goes on to say, he goes on to say, that he talked to Darren Morgan and Darren Morgan said that I was on drugs. And he, he, he's like copies a quote from, and I'm, I'm like, I'm friends with Darren Morgan on Facebook. He's a super sharp guy. I mean, he's just, he's sharp. He's a cylinder head guru. And, and I don't, I don't believe that Darren Morgan said I was on drugs. I don't, I don't think he did. And I doubt that this guy talked to Darren Morgan. He's just making stuff up because I, I just feel confident that Darren Morgan's got way bigger fish to fry than worrying about some nonsensical YouTube video about torque plates. I just I just don't believe that even happened. But what the the, the quote that he he posted uh, accusing Darren Morgan of saying was that you know there's all of this data and dyno testing and anybody that didn't believe that torque plates mattered was on drugs. But the problem with that statement is there's no context and that's where you get in trouble. And I am going to go out on a limb and say that Darren Morgan would agree. And again, I don't believe Darren Morgan said anything to, to, to about the whole conversation we're having here. But if you're building a $40,000 Hemi for a purpose built forced induction drag racing deal, absolutely a thousand percent. I agree all day, every day. If you're building an iron five, three for your grandma's station wagon, it's irrelevant. It's just relevant. I mean, and, and then, and then the, 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 when you, if you unpack, that logic, right? We got to torque plate everything on the planet. Well, if we need to torque plate it, then we also need to hone it at 230 degrees. They need to be 230 degree water running through the block, right? 
Uh, then, uh, when the combustion cycle happens, the top of the cylinder is hot, and the bottom of the cylinder is not as hot, and then on the intake cycle, the top of the cylinder is cooling down. So how are you gonna reenact all of that, right? And then when you do the valve job, how, how like, are we gonna bring the cylinder head up to 250 degrees while we do the valve job? Because, you know, there's thermal cycling in the valve seats. So how are we gonna do that? And then the, the seat cools off when the intake charge comes in and then the seat heats up as the combustion cycle happens. So, are we going to do the valve job when the seat's slightly cooler or slightly hotter? Which, which way are we going to do it? Because all everything's moving. If, if, and I'm going, to, I'm going to show you something in, in a second that's just, just going to make your head hurt. So all of this stuff's moving around. <clears throat> it's all going through thermal cycles. And to say that this certain, you got to do this or do that, like all we can do is the best job we can do with the stuff we have. We can't force, and, and like I'm not going to build an engine, a race engine, without torque plates. I, I just, like, that's how we do it, right? But if you want your grandma's 530 in her station wagon rebuilt, I'm happy to do that job without a torque plate because I know a thousand percent that it's not going to matter. I mean, it's just not going to matter. So charging people for stuff they don't need or want is craziness because th th this particular one guy he, he goes on to tell me that i should just charge everybody and torque plate on it and don't give them a choice but you know that's not how free commerce works and you just can't you can't do that to people you shouldn't do that to people that's not that's not a nice thing to do so i've got a 60 that we just finished all the cylinder work and it's been torque plate honed and all of that jazz. And I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you why you think that the people that think four tenths matters, we, we fixing, we fixing to go to school. Because I, I, I had all of these same nonsensical ideas about all kinds of stuff till I actually started checking crap all day, every day. And then we learned that things are just not how you think they are. All right, so we're going to check about center of this cylinder on the Siamese side, or, or you know, the, the, the side closest to the next cylinder. Uh, you see what that says. That's 177 thousandths. All right, now we're gonna check the thrust face. You see that? Now, you, do you actually believe that the part of the cylinder wall that's 380 thousandths thick is moving at the same amount and the same rate as the part of that cylinder wall that's 177 thousandths thick? No, it sure isn't. So I don't care if you stacked up nine torque plates and, and you done whatever you done, and you danced a jig, and you jigged it special, that cylinder is not round or straight at temperature. And if you believe it is, there's a special bus that you should be riding. And, and the problem, the, the, not the problem, the difference is this is a production block and they're all like that. If you buy a $10,000 billet block, you don't have that problem, right? So we can torque plate it and we can do all of this stuff to it and it's uniform. The thicknesses are uniform and you know, they're running really thick ductile iron sleeves and, and we have uniformity in the thermal expansion. But here we don't have uniformity in the thermal expansion. So it, the, 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 whole, the, the whole torque plate thing is just almost null and void. I mean, if you worried about four tenths at the top of the cylinder, I will guarantee you at temperature, that difference right there, I'll bet you the center of that cylinder is moving around three or four thousandths. So who gives a crap what's happening at the top of the cylinder with four tenths? It's just fantasy land. 
And, and the same thing is happening. Some, some cylinder heads, well, we section them and all around the exhaust port, uh, uh, the exhaust seat and that area, it's just paper thin. The casting's paper thin. There's no room. And so that thing is just moving and going crazy. And, and, and again, we, we talk about, you know, valve seat concentricity and all of this junk. I, I mean, it, yeah, we want to make it as good as we can make it. We want zero run out when it leaves here. But at temperature, it's doing all kind of freaky stuff. So <clears throat> please stop with the torque plate comments. And if you want to open up your own shop and charge everybody to torque plate everything, you know, torque plate their lawnmower, torque plate their weed eater, knock yourself out. Just have at it. But stop telling me what I know because the problem is, is, is I'm telling you, like, I don't just make this stuff up. I test it and we know what's happening and what's not happening. And some stuff is just a waste of time. And, I, you know, it, we got to kill a gasket. We, we got all of the time to put the plates on, take the plates off. We got to clean the plates up. We got to charge two hundred dollars to torque extra to torque plate hone a block, and you know when you when you stack up all of that with the rest of the bill, you know I mean we just we, we try to we try to just like we want to charge people, you know we want to be realistic with the bill, right? We we're not trying to just do extra stuff that's not going to pay dividends to the end customer. So there's places for stuff to happen, and there's places for stuff not to happen that, that's just how it is in this world if we only did top fuel dragsters that's a different story but that's not what we do we do other stuff so anyway uh i hope that that clarifies and and, and like i'll say <clears throat> just to, 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 to finalize what i'm trying to get at for instance this here's a fe forward right it's got half inch head bolts there's only four per cylinder like a ls but the threads are at the top of the block. They're right at the top of the block. On the LS, they're way down in the bottom. So the issue is that thing torques to 100 pounds, 110 pounds, and it distorts the cylinder a lot. And every single FE forward, even if it's going in your grandma's station wagon, is going to get torque plate honed in this building. That's how it is, because it matters on that motor. But this motor, it don't matter. I mean, it will work just fine without torque plates. So there, there are engines that there's no compromise. There's other engines that there is compromise. And that's just, you know, that's why I, I want to make it clear that it's not that we don't want to do the extra work or we don't want to charge the customer for the extra work or the customer doesn't want to pay for the extra work. It's that we don't want to just waste the customer's money because, again, you know, some places it matters and some places it don't. So anyway, I hope that that makes sense. And, you know, it's just over and over and over again that we keep seeing this and people keep harping on it, you know, and like I say, that guy, he's just trying to lay me out, you know, and it shouldn't bother me and I shouldn't even comment on that stuff, but I just, uh, I see so many comments and, and I just want to make it clear why we're doing what we're doing and not doing it this other way that the internet believes. And so hopefully that cleared that up. And, you know, if you got thoughts about it, be respectful. I'm happy to have a conversation, but you know, don't just come at me with no nonsense. Cause I'm, I'm about done heard all that I'm going to hear. All right. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you on the next one.